Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to part two of the foster child challenge. In this part, we are going to try and get to know our toddlers who have just arrived on our doorstep. If you'd like to see the detailed rules of the challenge, look below or else I will link the first video, which was just a short introduction, which went over the rules that I plan on following my version, how I tweaked it up above. So go check that out if you'd like to see it and haven't watched it already. So we are here and Lacey, I have to get to know their names, is um, making some food. She was a little bit hungry. I don't know if the walls are in cutaway. They weren't. They were all the way up, which makes things a little bit difficult. And I don't know oh, what's he doing. He is watching. Now, I think what I want to do to start with is I want to start working on all of their potty skills. <laughs> because it would be good if they could go to the potty by themselves. So we're going to potty train Max. Hopefully Max is okay. Maybe Max should be the one who should initiate it because I find that sometimes when the adults initiate it, especially they don't have a very good relationship, we don't really want to break it any further, the toddlers don't particularly like it. And I am on the wrong sim. I want to go on to Diego. I want to check his needs. I want to see which child, if any, Max, which child needs to go to the bathroom the most? Because that's probably the one. So either Kara or Beatrice. Beatrice is the most. So we're going to have Beatrice come here and potty help from Nicholas. So we have to work on their friendship. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. They're going, well, let's check what they're all doing. She's going to go look at the, she wants to actually go potty. So maybe we'll do her, have her go next. She wants to be friendly with Nicholas. And Max is out on the street, though he seems to be coming in to l ask for dance help. Okay, they seem to be wanting different things. And Diego, what are you doing, Diego? You don't, you seem to not be able to do anything. Can you play with this? Why don't you play dolls? There you go. He wants to listen to music and he wants to splash in the toilet. We will not pin that. And Max, where are you? Are you stuck out there? Can you not come in? You should be able to come in. We only have a very short little step here. And I know steps are not very good for toddlers. Why don't we have you go here? Maybe if we initiate you going here, you will actually go. Are you still, Nicholas? You're coming over. I don't know why it shows you as being not at home because you're standing right there. And she's outside eating. At some point, I'd like to get a buffet table so that we can put the food on there and we don't use up our our limited counter space for that. And I do have a couple of high chairs in this house. I generally don't play with high chairs in my homes because I find the Sims spend a lot of time putting the kids in them and taking them out. So we may be getting rid of those high chairs, but the benefit is that it'll let you access certain foods for the toddlers, which of course for the adults, they can get them freely now because they added them in in a patch. So now that you look like you've eaten, I think you should probably work on one of the kids. You actually want to get a drink for a toddler, but you know, drinks just make them go to the bathroom quickly. So our next one, Kara, she wants to actually play with the tablet, which we have and play blocks, but you should come and get some potty help from Lacey. And that will also hopefully help your attention too. And Beatrice has acquired the communication skill, I guess because she's going potty with, um, so she's getting potty and communication. So where is Kara? Kara, you're coming. Of course, they're all little. We have five little helpless toddlers in this house that are have no, no uh, skills whatsoever. And of course, as I said, we, uh, I won't age any of them up until they've maxed their skills. So they're not necessarily gonna age up at the same time because it may be that one of them finishes their skills before another one. I have had that happen when I played with toddlers that, uh, you know, essentially came at the same time. But, uh, so she wanted to be friendly with Nicholas and she wants to go potty. So she'll be next on the list for going potty. I think we're going to be spending a lot of time trying to potty train toddlers today. Now I did play, as I mentioned in the last part, with the, um, these two for a couple of days. So they have managed to actually get some satisfaction points. And I don't know whether it'd be best to some of the traits that I would like to get, say Nicholas is the, um, 
the connections trait for when he wants to start working because that will start him at level four and until he has enough points for that i think we'll keep him home i'd like to get him to uh, what is she doing there oh she's just playing with blocks in that toddler bedroom hey good girl can we uh, can we uh uh toddler care well adopt is care dependent i didn't know so then we want to Todd parenting. Okay, that's why. No, we can't. I wanted to encourage. We're gonna go and we're gonna have to go and have them all be adopted as care or dependents. <laughs> and uh, I will do that and then be back. So that's done. They've adopted them all as care dependents. And I had Lacey working on her Master Chef aspiration, but we'll go over to family. So she has become a parent because she adopted one child, and that should, I would hope that would be helping her parenting skill. I don't, I don't see a little bar over her head for parenting. Does she have that there? No, she didn't. That's a bit strange, usually when you, oh, we have a sad, sad, tired of blocks. Oh, well. <laughs> um, she, uh... She wanted to go potty train, so we're going to get some potty help from Lacey because Nicholas is busy. And Nicholas is busy and is going to make some... Oh, is he going to go help teach blocks? Oh, that's so cute. I hope, I hope he's teaching blocks now. Dad, he's not going to help teach blocks. We are going to cook some food so everybody can have something to eat. He is a whole cooking level three. We are not going to use fresh ingredients. And we will make some taco casserole. I don't know where they're pancakes. Oh, he's now parenting level one. So why is this not helping her get parenting skill by potty training? That doesn't make a lot of sense. So you have gone potty and you're hungry and you need some fun. So I, we do have some food here. So you come grab a serving. All these decorations, we get rid of them, they might, their bills might go down. And how are you, my little one? Kara, are you have some food? Very good. And why don't you come and uh, turn on the TV? Wish you could just turn on the TV. It doesn't seem like that's an option. You have to actually watch it. Oh, Lacey is now level one of the parenting skill. How are you, my dear? You kind of need attention and you need to go to the potty. You know what? You're not making food. We'll, we'll leave that. You are angry. Why are you angry? All blocked out. Sometimes they're sad. Sometimes they're angry. You are going to go ask for help from Nicholas to go potty. <laughs> they like five of them. Just, yeah. Anyways, and they need some fun. Did you put the TV on for the kiddos? Maybe we need to hire a nanny. Maybe that's the trait. That's the, um, okay, so he's got that. He's got the TV on. So you, my little one little uh someone who's there sitting there you're gonna watch because then we can be eating a while are you hungry no you're not hungry but you need some fun so come just watch some show some of that oh Lacey's parenting level two and you're hungry come eat some food while you're watching here why don't we bring this food and put it right here so you can grab a serving grab a serving there you go my dear and you kind of need to go to the potty but you're also really hungry so why don't you just grab a serving if you go in your diaper you go in your diaper babble potty help babble no you just go eat your food you're getting really angry you're getting hangry there not only are you blocked out you're hangry and Annie oh you had a potty accident Poor little thing. Beatrice has acquired the imagine this is going to be crazy. <laughs> and I have two adults. I actually did do a seven toddler, seven toddler challenge. And it was um, pretty... Okay, you... No, 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 no. Okay, you are going to ask for potty help. Because you don't... We don't want you to go in your diaper. You can ask Lacey. Try and ask Lacey there. And don't go in your diaper. And what are you doing, Lacey? You're not supposed to be helping some other child. <laughs> she needs some fun. She can, you know what? She can play with the blocks. Or the tablet. Where is the tablet? I had some tablets in this house. A couple of them at least. There's one. Go play Sim Shape. 
We'll have to get some more tablets at some point, but we only have 579 simoleons, so we don't have a lot of money to be buying things. So she's so the main thing is she needs some fun, and then she needs to go to bed. And you are just sitting there watching the toddlers. You're not really doing anything very productive. Who else needs to go potty? Kara is okay because she's doing that. Annie, no, 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 you eat your food. Eat this. Go eat. There's food right there. You don't need to be sitting there upset because you're hungry. There's lots of food. And you're okay, but you're getting tired because you're eating. You're okay because you're eating. I don't know that you're going to be able to tell any jokes anytime soon. But I think you need to go to bed. So we are going to have Nicholas read you to sleep. And I'm going to have a hard time remembering all these kids. <laughs> Beatrice. So Nicholas, you're going to read Beatrice to sleep. You're going to read Beatrice. There you go. Go read her to sleep. If we can do this in... in uh, stages we can get them all looked after. Now you need to go to the potty so maybe you can have once uh, and you need attention so that would be really good. So you're going to get potty help from Lacey once she's finished with your foster brother Diego. Okay and what is your problem? Oh you're waiting for potty help yes because I can't tell them apart. He's energized. He should be dancing. He has to turn this on first. Turn it on the blues. Oh. <laughs> Bob the music. <laughs> you can change back. Go go do that. And what, my dear, are you doing? You're playful. No, no, you should come uh, watch because being playful is good for building your, your uh, imagination skill. So I thought you were supposed to be being read to bed, actually. What are you doing not going to bed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said to, uh, maybe he's in the way. That's maybe why the little, not he, Kara's in the way. So we're going to go bedtime story. Nicholas, can you try that? Yeah, let's try that and see if that will work. No. I don't know what's going on. Let's try it again. Try over here. Read toddler to sleep. This is just going to be one of these constantly trying to get um, them to actually do what they're told. Oh, maybe she, maybe he is going now. Okay, that's good. All right, now it was Max who had to go to the potty and needed attention. So you're going to go potty help from Lacey, and you were energized and dancing. And how are you, my dear, now? You need some food, so you're going to grab that. Very good. Good boy. And the TV is still on. I'm just scrolling out to see. <sighs> And this is kind of a big house, so it takes them a little bit of time to get around. Go eat your food! Well, I see that you're hangry. You're a helpless toddler, and you need to help. And we have food there for you, so go get it. Yay! Let's go eat. That's, I just tend to have food prepared, and then they can go eat on their own. That's why I actually don't like to have caregivers, like NPCs do it, because then you can't drag it out. Are you eating? Of course, we're probably going to have to potty train them a couple of times to get them. Well, hopefully only two times we'll get them up to the level that they need to be. Okay, so you're there. You're angry, but that's not really going to help you very much. So just go watch the TV. And how are you, my dear Annie? You are tired, tired, tired. So I think you need to get a story. Oh, well, you can't probably. Why don't you go to sleep here? So go bedtime story from Nicholas. Oh! Annie has reached level two of the communication skill, and I think this is is Annie, isn't it? Yep, she's babbling away to Diego. <laughs> and Diego, they're all starting to get really tired. They all are, and I really want to read them to sleep because supposedly I've heard that they're less likely to have nightmares if you read them to sleep. What is also supposed to help is if you get their mental skill up, but obviously we can only do so much at one time. So there's only so much. And they're all getting really, 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 really tired. Look at her looking at the tablet. And she's tired. And she's sad still from her potty accident. Are you getting your story read to you? Oh, good, good, good. So, and he is tired. So we're going to keep... We're still trying to get this little one potty trained. 
And he's not gone potty yet. Hopefully he gets potty, goes potty soon. I may end up just having to let these kids go to sleep. He wants to play with a toy, which he can do when he gets up, and possibly he can watch Lacey. We'll pin that for now. Oh, he's going potty. Good boy. Don't have an accident when you're on the potty, or you'll get sad. And you're not as tired as the rest, so I think we'll leave you. Little, um... Diego is so angry, we, he needs to be calmed down. So we are going to have Lacey read to Diego to sleep after she's finished with uh, Max. Yay, oh, he had an accident. <laughs> oh, well. So you go read him to sleep, and then who's the next tiredest? Oh, Kara. Kara Sue's the most tired. So we are going, no, 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 I'm going to pause it because I don't want him to go. So you are going to stop playing with that. And then you are going to read Kara to sleep. <laughs> and then maybe you'll get a moment to do stuff on your own. Once they're not quite so, once you don't have to potty train them, it's not quite so difficult because then they're, they won't be so busy. Ryan, it's ghost night? Yeah, no, we got five toddlers. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, starting with five toddlers. It would have been a lot easier to start with, like, maybe three. Even four, just so that would have been two per, per adult, as opposed to that extra fifth one. And then added them in as they were starting to skill up a little bit. <laughs> that was a bit crazy on my part, to have five all at once, I have to say. So, are you getting red to sleep? Yeah, I think you are. And then, you know what? You can read the other one to sleep. You can read Max. Max is sad. And he's getting a little tired. And he's, what is he doing? I don't know what he was doing. He was just wandering around. Okay, go get Max. <laughs> and we spent our first day, we potty trained them. We, we were successful at reading all but... We have one more left to read to sleep. You had you actually went to the bathroom. Why don't you make some dinner? Why don't you cook so we have some food in the fridge? Cook that uh, taco casserole that I had started earlier. Or maybe some fish tacos. Do some fish tacos. And I don't know what happened to if, if they ate all of the salad. Let me spin around here. or Because I don't see the salad. Because I had it right here. Unless it got put away. Unless one of them put it away. I'm guessing that must have been what happened. Because I don't remember putting it away. But it may have been that I did. Win a multiplayer game on the video game console. Yeah, I don't find I get that very well. He wants to stargaze with Billy Jang. Nope. He wants to watch the World Culture Network. That I can pin. But he also, I when they were out fishing and looking for frogs and stuff, they managed to um, get whirlpool frogs, which I've been so busy with these toddlers that we haven't bred the frogs. So one thing with the toddlers is that they will be able to... Um, don't move around on me. <laughs> I'm going to drag them into everybody's inventory, including the toddlers, and they will be able to breed the frogs in their inventory, which will help us with money. So, so we don't get any money for the toddlers, but that will let me make sure I'm on the right one here. And she's got some, she's got uh, this hidden in her inventory, though I think it's this one. I do notice that sometimes they get a little bit glitchy where they have two. I'm not sure. This is uh, Beatrice over there. And you know what? I'm just going to do it this way because then I know. The only problem with that is it makes me move across the floor. So you're going to breed them in every little one's inventory since we are kind of hurting for money right now. We don't have a lot. Put that back because I need to be closer to them. So there we go. And then we need to switch over to Diego's inventory. So we got lots because I did breed them after they got them. And Max, we got them at the Oasis Spring pool, the pond there. That's where we got them from. So look, we have 20 frogs. Yay. And uh, you may as well talk to each other. Oops, wrong sim. <laughs> you may as well talk to each other. Why is she sad? Is that from the potty training? Oh, about evilness. Who was evil? We've been home all day. 
Toddlers don't have ev evil traits. I'm not really sure why you're sad from being evil. From someone being evil. So they have a little bit of romance going on. A little bit of pink. But it doesn't seem like... Oh, he's reached level 4 of the cooking skill. I'm going to grab that food and put it away. You know what? I'm going to get rid of this drink. Because I think drinks are just kind of a waste of time. Well, she wants to woohoo in a bush. Well, if you get a romance going on with him, then maybe you can. Otherwise, I don't know that it's going to happen. We'll pin it for now. They are best friends forever. They did a lot of cloud gazing. Oh, ask to just be friends. <laughs> Not a good way to start out. <laughs> that keeps coming up. Oh, ask a single. Well, we can do that in exchange numbers. So there are some romantic. Right now, I have also a club called the Foster Club. So as the toddlers can't be in the club, so therefore it is just the two of them right now. But once the toddlers age up to children, they can join the club and then we'll unlock these slots and have up to eight Sims in this club. And for now, I have be friendly with everyone, be funny with everyone, clean, fish. And at the moment, I have be romantic with Foster Club. As soon as the, <laughs> the kids get added to the club, that will be removed. I will not keep that in there. Let's, uh, though maybe they shouldn't be staying up any longer. <laughs> they got to sleep. Then what I could do, I have enough points. I could buy the club perk. This will make this challenge a lot easier. The one rally the troops, which is 500 points. And it unlocks the rally the troops social interaction to keep your club partying all night long. But it also lets them keep working all night long. So I am going to buy that trait. Because now, since they've already eaten, we don't really need that. We are going to say more choices, clubs, club gatherings, rally the troops. So then they can maybe get a few things done at night when the kids are sleeping. And, uh, which will help a lot, is all I can say. And I'm going to drag that into our nano, crash tash, nano trash can. But... I think that's it. So they actually were able to potty train all of the sand, all of the toddlers and read them all to sleep. So we'll see whether or not we have any nightmares. It may happen. I'd like to thank you very much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye. This has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge, let's plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much.